Well, it is official. I am back in Yellowstone with a really good friend and uh, fishing guide, Pete Stoughton. And uh, this is day one. We are going to be fishing the Soda Butte Creek. And depending on how well it does, we might even go to the Lamar River later in the afternoon. But to say that I'm excited is an understatement. I was out here last year with Pete and he put me on some wonderful fish. So I'm pretty excited. So we'll see what happens. Might have to change flies though. I think he's seen this one a few times. He come off. Yep. Oh, no, he's still there. Oh, yeah. see that bigger one chasing it? No, I didn't. Huh? I didn't see that. Before. He was chasing it. All right. Pete's on the board with a nice cutthroat. Yep. Beautiful. We are on the Soda Butte Creek, an undisclosed portion of the Soda Butte Creek. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Not the big one, but I got one. They are pretty, aren't they? They're beautiful fish. There this we go. Far as the tip line here. Yeah, this is what this is. It's barbless. All right, we're going to see if we can get another one. There's one. That is a man. Is that a big trout there? Look at this one, Pete. Look at him. Look at him chasing this this fly or this one that I've hooked. You see the size of that one? Hold, hold on, I'll throw my fly out. Go. Look at him chase it. Oh, he's off. I just don't understand why he's chasing that one. Well, where else do you want to go? You want to just fish downstream? Is that what you're wanting to do or what you want? You want to go down to Lamar? I don't care. It's up to you. Let's, let's do that. We'll stop here on the way back. All right, we are hiking back to the Lamar River. In an under in an undisclosed area of the Lamar River and I was worried about bears out here but at this point I'm worried about this fellow right over here big old bull Pete assures me though that we'll be fine all I have to worry about is I gotta outrun Pete and I think I can do that so take me to the fish Pete we are literally surrounded by buffalo only a couple that we're hiking through, but off to my right shoulder, I don't know if you can see over there, but there's a herd there. There's a herd to the left of that. 
but when we were driving in there must have been at least two or three hundred in a herd and that's that's probably a small figure too i think there was probably more but all right we're having fun now we're going fishing hopefully if we make it there this is what we came for right here huh right in here is where we usually start fishing again and it's a bitch getting working your way up the stream those boulders get bigger and further apart and that does look really good though right down in there right around this all right let's see what happens we're hoping for a good one Pete put me on the fish he guaranteed it he said <laughs> we'll find out there we go Got one on, Pete. One? Yep. Nice one. The hopper? It's on the hopper. He's fighting pretty good. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Over. I'm not sure that's a cutthroat. At this point, I'm not really sure what what it is. There we go. All right. Got him in, Pete. Yep. All right, we're gonna let him back into the water. Here he goes. And off he swims. That's the biggest cutthroat I've ever caught. Right there. That makes the hike in here worthwhile. There's another one, Pete. All right, we got another one on. That's on the hopper. On the hopper. There he goes. Off to the deep he goes. Let's see if we can do this again. Now, I wish I had my other camera going, but my GoPro actually overheated, so at this point we are stuck with my chest mounted GoPro. There's one looking at it. I saw him in under the water. Get him to take it. Another one, Pete. That's a nice one there, too. You better hurry up. This is a nice fish here. This is like the other one. We got a nice fish on again, guys. Pete's all fired up this time. He's got his waders on. He'll be able to net this real good if I can get him close enough. Here we go. I'll try to get him closer to you. Oh, he sees you. We got him. <laughs> oh, he is a fighter. <laughs> Good picture. Got a bunch of pictures. There he goes. And off he goes to the deep. There we go. Fighting good. And get him, Pete. I'll do a little dog walk for you there. <laughs> a All right. Another quality. Pull him up. Quality Lamar cutthroat. I'd like to get him up out of this net if I can. Look at that. I can't see in the, so I'm just clicking, hoping I'm getting it. <laughs> Let him loose. There he goes. Oh yeah, we got it. All right, Pete. Good pictures. 
another one all right guys I just changed over from a hopper to a elk hair caddis I'm hoping that uh, this will turn the fish on the fish kind of turned off on the hopper all right we got another one on here guys beautiful Lamar River doesn't get any better than this right here this time I changed over I had a hopper on and uh, I decided that I was going to change over onto something a little bit different because it seemed like the fish were getting tired of the hopper at least from what I was thinking and uh, so I put on an elk hair caddis there he goes all right we've got a nice fish on here guys this is the biggest cutthroat I've ever caught wow is that a beautiful fish I'm gonna end up losing my fly but I don't care on this one That is a beautiful fish right here. There he goes. Well, Pete and I have actually hiked out of the canyon. First day fishing, we went to the Lamar River. Unfortunately, my battery sources kind of died on me. So I didn't get all the fish that we caught, but we caught a bunch. But we had a good time. I actually caught my personal best cutthroat. All in all, it was a great first day. Thanks to good friend Pete. Okay.